Now we have customers who call us who are operating on a Gmail account for their business and have been locked out of their account. And usually when they call us, they've been locked out for a week and they are freaking out because all their customer data are there, all their customer emails are there, they can't receive orders and they don't even know who's emailed them. I pay for a custom domain, now I have to pay for an individual account. Why is that and can I have it for free? I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to for free, whether you're referring to having a Gmail account for free or whether you're referring to maybe having a legacy G Suite account or it used to be called a Google Apps account and in the old days it was called Google for Business and Google for your domain. It has had many names over the years but whether you're using a free legacy Google account which Google took away and then brought back again and then took away and then I, I think brought back again or maybe you were using a Gmail account and you switched over or maybe you're someone who was using a Gmail account for your Google world and you decided to buy a domain name and set up a custom email address and then run that inside what's now a Google Workspace account. If you're complaining about using it for free, my recommendation would be you bite the bullet and you pay for it. If you're still using a legacy, 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 legacy account and you're getting it for free because you've had it for a million years, my recommendation would be you switch to a paid account because every now and again, something will go wrong in your Workspace account and we have over 20,000 customers. We have seen things go wrong in Google accounts where people are locked down or they lose access or a file goes missing or something gets corrupted and you have to reach out to Google support to get help with that. Well, if you're on a free legacy account and you're not paying for that, well, you won't actually get access to Google support. And switching to a paid account at that point in time does not guarantee that you're gonna be able to get the file back because I heard from a little birdie many years ago that the infrastructure that the free accounts run on is actually different to the paid accounts. It's actually on legacy infrastructure. So just switching you over to a paid account doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to get your file back. And if you happen to be using a legacy free Google account for something like storing your family photos or your family files, that's the kind of thing you probably don't want to lose. Now, secondly, there are plenty of advantages of using a paid business account. Things like if you jump on the business starter plan, you can record your meetings inside Google Meet have them automatically dropped into Google Drive to have finished your meeting. That's an amazing feature and well worth the upgrade. You can do things like increase the amount of storage available for your account. If you have a domain that you'd like to change, maybe the legacy account that you set up has got an old domain name and you want to you know, rebrand or use a new domain name for your business, then that's another reason why you would want to upgrade to a paid account. If you want to do things like roll out Chrome or Google policies, that's another feature that is restricted to the paid accounts. Basically, all the cool stuff that Google have built in the last five or 10 years has pretty much exclusively been rolled out to their paid accounts. So you're missing out on a lot if you're still sticking around on a legacy account. Now, maybe you're a sole operator and you're used to using Gmail, and so you'd prefer to stick with a free account on Gmail for your business. Well, I would strongly, strongly discourage you from doing that. Using a workspace account means that you get access to business support from Google. So if anything ever goes wrong with your account, it means that you're able to get access to the administrator panel of your account, either through a reseller. If you're working with IT Genius, you can join Concierge for free. So go ahead, join Concierge. It means you've got your billing through us. Doesn't cost you any extra. But if anything ever goes wrong with your account, ring, ring, call up IT Genius. Hey, can you please get me back into my account? And our team will be able to help you with that. But the second way to get access to your account, if you have a business account, is to use your DNS. So to use your domain name settings. And inside your domain name, what you can actually do is you can kind of break back into your account and get access to your administrator password. Now, you might think, Pete, why should I prepare to have to break back into my account? Well, let me tell you, people get locked out of the Google accounts all the time. We have a help desk. We receive hundreds of requests per year, maybe not on getting people back into their accounts, but I can tell you there's at least 10 to 20 requests per year where someone has been flagged for spamming or someone has been flagged for malicious content, or maybe just, you know, Google decided that you violated their terms and they don't tell you what their terms are, they just switch off your account. And in each one of those instances, you need to get back in. Now, of course, the fourth one is you may have someone hack into your account, somehow get access to your two-factor authentication, or if you don't have that set up, all they need is your username and your password and they're straight in. Maybe they're, you know, doing a sophisticated attack and they've stolen your mobile phone number, or maybe you just were lazy and set a crappy password and you forgot to set up two-factor authentication and boom, somebody is into your account. Well, what that means is that that Gmail account is gone and that might be your whole business gone. Now we have customers who call us who are operating on a Gmail account for their business 
and have been locked out of their account. And usually when they call us, they've been locked out for a week and they are freaking out because all their customer data are there, all their customer emails are there, they can't receive orders and they don't even know who's emailed them. Think about that and just you know let that fear sink in because I really want this to hit you. I don't want you to ever use a Gmail account for your business. Well, that's what you're up against. And so my recommendation for you is if you're being a freeloader and you wanna stay in the free world, come over to Business Workspace it's only a couple of bucks per month. I think it's 15 bucks per month now. You can set up a professional business account. You can get access to it if anything ever goes wrong and you can get support when you need it as well. Whether you buy it through us or directly through Google, we don't really mind, but you do get some perks jumping on a concierge for free and setting your billing through us, including Genius Academy, which is our online training portal, which helps you and your team learn more about Google Workspace and become workspace experts. And you also get a free account check and audit as well. We'll check and make sure that your DNS and everything else is all set up correctly. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.